Hello everyone, this is Ashish and today we'll be having the good old discussion on how you should be studying. We are going to have a full day routine. Now this one will be the case that I'm going to be discussing today. I'm going to be showing you the full tabulated form of how I would be planning or how I used to plan when I was preparing for competitive examination. This one is for a holiday. So if you're having a holiday, this is how you should be utilizing throughout the day your time that you're having on other days maybe you'll be having work school college whatever it is the only thing is that six to seven hours is going to go into that but the rest of the time that you should be utilizing you should be utilizing like this so in the most simplistic manner i'm going to discuss what should be your daily routine if you're preparing for an examination let us begin So this routine that I'm going to be discussing today is not only going to discuss what you should be studying, when you should be studying, how to utilize your time, but also it is going to take care of your health and diet because I want you to prepare for these competitive examination in the most healthiest of manner that is possible because it is a long race. It is not a sprint. It is a marathon. So let us begin. Now you're going to see the screen so you might have already seen that i want you guys to wake up early so 5 a.m waking up at that time i think it is idle i know it is giving a lot of jolt to a lot of people because especially engineers are used to staying awake late at night see i've done that too i've stayed awake till 5 a.m in the morning and then went to bed and then woke up again 11 a.m or 12 p.m somewhere around that i've done that all but this is the most effective way of doing it there's a thin term called biological cycle and it is very very important that you maintain it you cannot go to bed today at 12 p.m 12 a.m tomorrow at 1 a.m and then next to that 10 p.m it is not possible you cannot fluctuate it so if you are fixing a time to go to bed fix it and keep it constant whether it is a holiday or a working day so it hurts if you are used to waking up early maybe monday you have to go to college then you'll have to wake up 8 a.m in the morning but then Friday, Saturday, you do not have to go to college, then you'll be staying awake late at night. How about fix it, generalize it and just go to bed at a proper time, let us say 11 p.m. and then wake up every day in the morning, 5 a.m. Now it fixes your routine at the same time. Morning time is the most effective one. It is a quiet time and you already have a sense that I'm already ahead and till half of the day is crossed you'll see that you'll have already put in six to seven hours of studying and that would give you a very good momentum to carry on throughout the rest of the day that is also very very important the psycho psychological aspect right so i would suggest you guys to wake up early in the morning this is what i used to do like i've said i've tried other plans and routines too but this helped me a lot now just after you wake up you should drink at least a glass of water helpful because throughout the night you're not having any hydration also i'd like to point it out right now like i said i'm going to take care of your diet and your health also throughout the day keep in your mind that you should be drinking somewhere around four liters of water it is very very important keep stay hydrated it helps you and keeps you healthy so that is why i've written it over here that four liters of water that is around one gallon of water keep it in your mind and then right after that i do not want you to go and study i want you to work out Please stay healthy. It helps you in the longer run. I'm not asking you to go to gym and start lifting weights for a, an hour or a half. Just work out in a normal manner. You can go out for running. You can do normal exercises. You can do yoga. Whatever it is, be physical. Now, here's the thing about your body. It does not want to start working all of a sudden. All right. You, this is the thing that happens. People are generally advised not to work out late at night. Let us say you have to go to bed at 11 p.m. You, you are not suggested to work out somewhere around like 9 p.m. Because your body is already in that fight or flight situation. Now our genetics go back to hunting and hunter-gatherer days and where we have to hunt or we have to run away from being hunted, right? So when you're working out, when you're exerting your body, your body already gives the signal to your brain that we are working and the old genes tells it that we are running away from something. So obviously you are not going to fall asleep and that is why you'll have a lot of trouble going to sleep if you're working out late at night. On the opposite hand, it helps you a lot if you work out just after you wake up, then you'll not feel as sleepy as you would if you would not work out so any physical activities anyways you are young and thus you should definitely incorporate working out on a daily basis at least six days a week i'm not saying that workout 
one hour or two hour every day half an hour is absolute must and it is doable i know it because i've done it so do that 5 30 to 6 you can work out 6 to 6 30 you can freshen up and whatever you want to do it's completely up to you take a bath and then around 6 30 sit down and have a breakfast now during the breakfast you can revise your micronauts now you're going to see this happen a lot throughout the daily routine that you are studying while you're eating in a proper manner don't worry i'm not going to jeopardize your system while you're eating but i've done this so i know that it helps so revising notes does not need you to move your hands or write down something so micro notes i've said it before you should revise on a daily basis if you have not watched my video on micro notes it's still available go out there and check it out but in the morning half an hour you can revise micro notes while you're eating it can be done like i said I've done it so definitely try it so that half an hour you're eating also and revising your micro notes also and after that from 7 a.m. to 1 30 p.m. that is the solid the most solid hour a series of hours length of study that you're going to put it is going to be the most effective one because you woke up early you are recharged you have worked out your belly is full you are you've had a bath and now all you need to do is study now i'm not saying that study continuously for this um, six hours continuously you do not need to study like that i'm going to talk about the pomodoro technique about which i've talked before also we are going to break it down into three two hour sessions and that two hour is also going to be divided into four 25 minute session i've already talked about the pomodoro technique but i'm going to elaborate one more time for people to just understand what i'm talking about over here so this is pomodoro technique 25 minutes study five minutes break obviously your concentration is not that good nobody has a perfect concentration human beings generally have a concentration that can last like 30 seconds more than 30 seconds you cannot concentrate only on one thing because your brain works so fast but while studying obviously we cannot just study for 30 seconds and take a break but 25 minutes after 25 minutes studies have shown that your concentration gets very a huge drop after that so yes it is flexible and in that video on pomodoro technique i've talked about it that 25 minutes can be 25 minutes sometimes sometimes it can be 40 minutes sometimes it can be 15 minutes but yeah on an average 25 minutes you study and then for five minutes you take a break and what to do in break I'm not going to explain everything over here. The video is available. Go through it. And I know that the majority of followers of this channel have already gone through it. It's like the third or the fourth most popular video on my channel. All right. After two hours, you're going to take a little bit long break, somewhere around 15 minutes. You can do whatever you want in that. Uh, maybe watch TV series, sit down or hang out with friends, talk to someone else, do whatever you want you need for your refreshment. But this is your refreshment time. Take a break of 15 minutes. Come back study for two hours again again not two hours continuously now, this is an effective way of studying stupid people study continuously smart people study till the time they're efficient so if your graph is dropping the efficiency is dropping like this you're bumping it up by five minute break then it is dropping again bumping it up so the mean efficiency that you're having is higher than it would be if you were studying continuously otherwise it will just kind of keep on falling all right so these are the mistakes that common people who have just started studying makes that they are studying continuously because that's what everyone has told them to study more work hard it is going to give you better result work hard but work smart too so in the 7 a.m to 1 30 p.m which is six and a half hours are we actually studying six and a half hours no actually we are just studying if you calculate it in a two hour session we are only studying for 25 into 4 that makes 100 minutes and in a three two hour session we are studying for 300 minutes and that turns out to be five hours in between their breaks so you have refreshed so this is five hours of effective studying now after that you can eat i, I skip few things over there in your breakfast i've already talked about in my diet videos that you should only eat healthy things that is another a big reason that you feel sleepy throughout the day peanut butter with brown bread oats milk i've also talked about sprouts Pick one, obviously. Do not eat, have peanut butter with bread, four slices, and at the same time, you will eat oats also. Your body won't be able to digest that much. But yes, the morning breakfast is the most important meal of the day because you have been starving all the night. So take care of that. And please do not do that. You're not having breakfast and 
all of a sudden starting to study that will not happen because especially because you have been working out for half an hour every day so that will already make you hungry and also it is very important that in this session the morning session you should be focusing more on learning new things learning new concepts and because this is the time which is most effective throughout the day after that the battery is draining out and you will be less and less efficient because you have already put a lot of work all right next coming to your lunch now i've already talked about healthy foods that you should be taking how you should be avoiding any oily food or spicy food because this is a struggle in a lot of sense you have to be eating very healthy also this is what you can do it is completely up to you if you do not want to do it you can leave it but this is what i used to do uh, when i was in bic training school when i had my lunch right after that i used to study all right now a lot of you guys will have a will to just go to sleep after your lunch i do not want you to do that because try to avoid sleeping in between the day as much as possible but what i used to do is that i used to just lie back i know my mic would not be taking the sound that well i used to just lie back as much as possible and then solve numericals while i was doing that okay you can do a few other things also that lay down and study that is completely up to you but i suggest that at least for half an hour you do study like that do not completely leave it but then again if you studied enough it's completely up to you you can skip it all right but this is preparing for competitive examination and thus this is the difficulty that you're facing yes you should be studying in a very effective manner in a very efficient manner but at the same time you have to be utilizing each and every last second that is the bottom line so 1 30 to 2 you'll be eating 2 to 2 30 you'll be having a lay study what i call resting your body but at the same time using your brain because 1 30 to 2 you already had a kind of rest so this is what i would do right after the lunch i would not take any rest because that lunch will act as a rest my brain is not working at that time my mouth is working and my stomach is working not really stomach starts working after some time but anyways and after that again i'll take some kind of uh, rest and then again get back to the second big session that is the four hour session which is from 2 30 to 8 o'clock and you might be thinking that that is not four hour that is more than five and a half hour now i'm excluding the break over here so it is actually you will understand it is effective four hours okay so again you are studying from uh, two hours from 2 30 to 4 30 then take 15 minutes break and then again from 4 45 to 6 45 and then take 15 minutes break and then from 7 to 8 you study now it is very important to eat somewhere around 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock a lot of people do not do it the reason for that is that you should be eating at least your dinner at least three hours before you go to sleep that is a healthy routine that you can incorporate if not if you have not done it so far start from today because you should have maximum of your food digested before you go to bed that helps a lot most of the fitness freaks do it you should start doing it also i know that you cannot work out a lot while preparing for competitive examination but do the best in eating clean do the best in working out as much as possible and do the best in following the things that you can do like eating three hours before you can also study after your dinner and that is what i've done over here 8 to 8 30 you can study and again read micro notes now micro notes may be half an hour of uh, re going through micro notes is not sufficient to cover all of your micro notes so don't do one hour continuously because that would become boring and you can do like half an hour in the morning and half an hour in the evening both while eating also the second half this uh, this bracket of 2 30 to eight o'clock you should be investing maximum in numerical solving you can invest in test series you can invest in any previous year questions that you're solving because the first half was very effective there you were studying concept and now you solve more and more numericals every day try to invest at least 50 percent of time solving numericals because at the end of the game it is a numerical solving game so you have to focus a lot on that and after that 8 30 to 10 30 you again study for two hours again pomodoro technique 15 15 15 15 and you're no sorry 25 25 and then you take a break and you close the day and somewhere around 11 o'clock you're going to go to sleep from 11 to uh, to 5 it is a six hour sleep 
if it is too less for you increase it you all all you have to do is decrease one hour of study somewhere you will be going to bed around 10 p.m so you'll be studying for one hour less but it completely depends on you whatever feels healthy to you if you're sleeping for eight hours definitely don't jump into six hours right away you you need to decrease it gradually so let us now find out if we study in this manner where we are working out also we are eating healthy drinking four liters of water throughout the day we are taking care that we are at our maximum efficiency all the time we are using the pomodoro technique studying like this how many hours should we be putting every day on a holiday so you look at it over here uh, the first session that was three two hour session over there every two hour is going to give me 100 minutes and then that is going to be total 300 minutes and totally it's going to be five hours in the second half it is going to be again two hours will give you 100 minutes another two hours is going to give you 100 minutes and one hour is going to give you 50 minutes right 25 plus 25 50 minutes so around 250 minutes that would be close to 240 minutes and it will be close to four hours all right and the, at the last it is going to be one to two hours close to that because it is 90 minutes it fluctuates all the time right so you would be saying that close to 10 hours you'll be studying on a holiday and when you use that app i've talked about it before it's the clockwork tomato app it was actually going to calculate and if you're studying for 10 hours every day effectively then it is more than sufficient you have seen it i'm use, using each and every last second to study whenever i can i'm working out also i'm eating healthy also i'm taking care of my brain i'm taking care of my body this is a way you run in this marathon this is something that you can last for six to ten months this is the only thing that can be sustainable so if you're not doing it like that most likely you're doing it in the wrong way let me know in the comment section what kind of routine you were having also let me know do you want to incorporate it from now on or not also if you have any further questions put it down in the comment section most welcome i reply to each and every comment and that's about it guys i hope you learned a lot i hope you learned in a practical manner and that's about it I'll see all of you in the next one. You can find me on Instagram, Ashish underscore T-O-R-Q. Link is down in the description box. All the other important links that the video to diet, the video to fitness, what you should be working out if you want to learn in more detail. There's a video on fitness also. All those important videos will be down in the description box. Linked, good, and ready for you to use. That's about it. See you next time.